This is a developmental pathway for friends, where the goal is, will Ross and Rachel end up together? If the image gene is transcribed, then Rachel and Ross will end up together. However, if it is not, then they will not end up together and the experiment failed. In other words, the Emma gene activates the Ross and Rachel gene, and as a result, they will end up together since Emma is their kid and the experiment is successful. However, the Mark gene represses the Emma gene as he offers Rachel a job in Paris. Mr. Zellner, Rachel's former boss, activates the Mark gene as he fires Rachel from her current job at Ralph Lauren in New York. The Gucci representative gene activates the Mr. Zellner gene as his lunch job interview with Rachel did not go as planned, and it can be assumed he doesn't offer Rachel the job at Gucci. Leonard, Rachel's father, represses the Gucci representative gene as he wants Rachel to become a doctor like him and be successful with her career. The first single mutant we're going to look at is Leonard. Leonard usually represses the Gucci representative, however now that he's gone, the Gucci representative gene is activated and itself can now activate the Mr. Zellner gene, which activates the Mark gene, which represses the image gene, so then Rachel and Ross will not end up together and the experiment has failed. The second single mutant we're going to look at is the Gucci representative gene. The Gucci representative gene usually activates the Mr. Zellner gene. If the Gucci representative gene is mutated, then the Mr. Zellner gene will not be activated. If the Mr. Zellner gene is not activated, then, Mark can, then the Mark gene cannot be activated. If the Mark gene is not activated, then the image gene will not be repressed and Rachel and Ross will end up together and the experiment is successful. Here is a chart of all of the different genes in our developmental pathway, and then if um, that single gene is mutated, its effect on the overall goal, which is will Ross and Rachel end up together. So for the first double mutant involves the Leonard and Mr. Zellner genes. If the Leonard and Mr. Zellner genes are mutated, then the Leonard gene can no longer repress the Gucci representative gene, and the Gucci representative gene can no longer activate the Mr. Zellner gene. So since that gene is no longer activated, then the Mark gene can no longer be activated as well. The image gene will not be repressed since the Mark gene is not activated, so the experiment is successful and Ross and Rachel end up together. The last double mutant we're going to look at is the Gucci representative and Emma gene. The Leonard gene represses that Gucci representative gene. However, if the Gucci representative gene is mutated, then it can no longer activate the Mr. Zellner gene, and the Mr. Zellner gene cannot activate the Mark gene. And since the image gene is mutated and the Mark gene cannot repress it, Ross and Rachel will not end up together and the experiment is unsuccessful.